You know, ever since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder. Yelling that I should delta as far away as possible. Think I've finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. Some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <laughs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. You can turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Dwelling on past mistakes. How do you mean? You try so hard to run away from them, you forget you're going around in a neat little circle. Heading for a head-on. And fucking bam. Exactly. Now, uh, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then Yorinobu, now Myers. Got a knack for getting in dangerous peeps' ways, you know? For real, though. How's it feel, you know? With all that's gone down. Somi didn't have to die back there. Did what I thought was right. Right for you? For her? For me? Song will get better. It'll all work out for the best in the end. Oh, what? How's that? Shit so hollow could swear I heard an echo. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. Think I finally understand why, despite all that's gone down, I feel for Reed. Cause we're one and the same. Idealists fighting for a cause, blind to the fact that it'll put everyone we care about in the ground. Only thing sets us apart is this faith in the system. In its principles. Except the line twin believing in an ideal and being plain naive is, well, pretty fucking thin. That's where you're nothing alike. Reed did everything he could to keep Song alive, sacrificed all, even himself. You, on the other hand, Guess I was never chasing ideals, not really. Life. That's what I was running from. And? Still running? Does it matter? I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gotta keep reminding yourself. I'll start by taking a good look at myself in the mirror. Already know I'm gonna fucking hate what I see. All right, good talk. Get up. You know what? Glad we talked, Johnny. You've changed. For better or worse? Guess we'll find out. Come on, let's go.
have a seat. First met here. Same exact court. Different ball game. Can't deny that. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. So me a live. Good work. So what about so me? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system. Entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but Somi will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. Gotta hope these alternate means of yours do the trick. We made her a promise. Told her she'd be okay. I said she'd get the best care available. A chance to make up for her mistakes, mend her ways. I can't do any more than that. I know. You're right. Did what we had to. Only thing we could do to give Somi a second chance. Somehow keep her safe. I'm with you on that. Just can't help wondering if... You couldn't have done more for her. V, Songbird is an FIA agent in critical condition in an FIA clinic. In the care of our top specialists. There's nothing more I can do for her. It's fully out of my hands. Meaning what? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. Langley or Glencoe is probably my next post. Desk job? To start, for a while. Plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. <sighs> You're plain rot behind that desk. Not for you to worry about. I'll be fine. What if you tossed him your ID? Got away from all of it for good. Shit, I mean, just get in your car and slam the chew, too. A few days down the road, your head will clear. A few months more, you'll see a whole new life open up for you. I'm going back to Washington. I have a few things to wrap up. But thanks all the same for the advice. <laughs> well, seems you might have finally found your place on Earth. You ought to find yours, too, before it's too late. Just not at any price. You know how that ends. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Take care, V. I'm gonna hang back a little. Told I could count on your help with the behavioral circuit. Mm-hmm. I did receive instructions. My help has been paid for already. May I see the component? Perhaps I can do something with it. Okay. Waiting. Usually, I don't ask customers what they want to do with the tech they bring me. And I will also not ask this time. But... This comes from a place that should probably be buried under a fat layer of concrete. The algorithms that run this circuit... I have seen the like long, long ago. You should know to let Netwatch catch you with this. I'm serious. Oh. I'll be careful. Thanks. You see the key to a door that does not exist. Typical of your kind. You're not facing it. Our 
neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Be honest now. How successful this stand to be? This hemisphere's top surgeons are waiting to help you. It'll work, rest assured. So, the ingram. Any way to avoid damaging it during excision? No, your mind needs reconstruction, V. The Matrix needs to wipe the relic, all data. How long will this take? Uh, what are we talking? Procedure? Rehab? We really don't know. Might be a week, might be a month. Whatever the case, cat and plants. Find someone to take care of them. Time for the next leg of the journey. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. You fucking crazy or what? Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? You knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. As obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. We're gonna argue about this again. Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Where are we going? An agency clinic in Langley. Got our best specialist stationed there. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up, on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. 
expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm, I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Yet another new lease on life. Mind opening the door? Wanna enjoy the view? Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. Remember that, if you ever toss back in again. Don't feel like I lost, though. Shame. Maybe you ought to. Why? Because I finally got what I fought tooth and nail for. V, you crapped out. Congrats can feel proud of what you've become. If it was your call, wouldn't think twice about having me killed. How the fuck would you know? Never bothered trying to understand who I am, what I'm about. Understand you well enough. You're a fucking narcissist. Look who's talking. Go ahead, pin the blame on me. Keep that conscience clean and sparkly. Even now, all you can think is to bicker? Is it so damn hard to say? Look, V, didn't see eye to eye and everything. But at least it was nice knowing you. You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms, the, the way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine, yeah, but I, I wanted you to hear them. Could have been solid-ass tombs in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. I think we were just too different. And we refused to put in the time to understand each other. Fucking unbearable, being stuck inside someone with different values. Never occurred to me you're entitled to your own, like everyone. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo. Yes. So... Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? I think I can, too. You are awake. Good 
Faith, you in there? I fear they are a You should not have a return! You will die here with me! I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. Take care, V. V, stay with me! You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Afterlife, see you there. They're opening. I think she sees me now. V, can you hear me? I think I can hear. I can talk. Good. About time. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. Read. Uh, saw you. Seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Uh, Stay at Langley long enough, it, uh, makes you its own. I'm no exception. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV, you weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask. How's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and I get wild card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing.
You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. A joke. Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> what good would it do to rage at reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... You, you alright? I need... I need... Need some air. Barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? New Matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? Why? What about my chrome? Your implants had been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be. Given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, Nowhere to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. good it is to hear you. It's good to hear you too, V. But how are you... Uh, why? So 
So this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me, new lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me, no? Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. I think I stand a chance of being normal again. My old self. Of course you do. I've got new tech. Does wonders. World changes, moves on, but... And Vic's ever the last reliable resort. Yeah. I'll see you, V. You know the address. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry. The subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pidim, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. It was a lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, brass tacks. I had surgery. Doc's just... Brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all. But not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. So, uh, we'll be in touch. I will. See you. Soon. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. V, did you get that? My question. I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep. Perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. I love it. <clears throat> Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. Heh. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem somewhat absent. Might I ask how you feel? Dunno. Hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. How's life as a single car treating you? Initially, I felt a bit... lonely. But as time went by, I began to change. I wonder if Dell's other personalities experienced the same. Oh, yes. Every so often I pick up signals from them. We're all ever-evolving, just like Father was. One of our number even left Earth. I think we could swing by my place. Sure. 
Let me just pull your address now and... Oh? What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent, apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. <sighs> Fuck me. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage. But that got very boring very quickly. Then I began ferrying folk to their destinations. Just like father did in his time. And you took their money? Oh no. Never. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Guess the burrow was right. The nail that protrudes from the wall gets hammered. Perhaps Yorinobu wished to be something other than a good son. Or maybe folks are using conspiracy theories to explain away his incompetence. Certainly also a possibility. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? Well said. Other corporations are now attempting to fill the... Uh... Hole. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Ah, uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself, Del. Doesn't matter. This is it. Better get going. I shall be right here. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey, girl, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? And you are? I is, yeah. Congrats. Wins you a shit short childhood and an even shittier death. Say what? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Misty Olszewski. She here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here. Two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. What is this? 
The chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. Not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic. So good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? Depends on your point of view. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on, you're stuck with me. Not about to go away. I'd be lying if I said the thought of you gone never crossed my mind. Do a happy return, then. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Ain't good to have memories. It grounds you. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. So... Misty. What happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment, so what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be her again. You know what I mean. What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems colder somehow. Less cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations, you match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure. Some threats, even. Uh, resisting change seemed... senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Former clients never liked Corpos, far as I remember. They still come around. I've lost touch with most. 
Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong. I just can't resist it anymore. Asked Misty what she thought before you signed? Of course I did. What'd she say? Well, she said a lot of things. She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Hey Vic. Why'd you choose to become a Ripper? Call it my youthful rebellion. All my friends at the time were gunning to be somebody. I helped them, fixed them, their bodies, minds. Though, actually, just postponed their moment of their irreparable destruction. Yeah. Corpos burn out fast. Pass as hell. Well, I don't get attached to them, at least. Vic, sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. seen anything like this your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware no no that did maybe switch to binary signaling that's a risk of shock life-threatening kind Did you could do something Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion. That's what you advise. No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Should I start aiming lower, too? Could, could be the key to happiness. It's not easy settling. With time, though, you realize you no longer remember why you wanted it any other way. <laughs> what if I want to remember? Wish I knew what to tell you, kid. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler. Please. The customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> Got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector. Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? 
I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporal rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Drop it. Leave me alone. Hmm. Uh. Nope. Show me the money. Got it all wrong. No mad. That's who I am. Oh shit! Faith's all around these days. You raffin? Even better. Booyah! See? But you. What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. A jacket you're wearing. Jackies? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine. Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty. It wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Lucky you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> Met your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but... I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you... parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital Air Terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Mm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. 
Man, of all people, never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Take your cue from your cards? Nah, it wasn't the cards. Close, though. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Missy, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, always had something smart to say. Hmm... I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Ah, it doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. Flat on its ass. Like it was when your fam broke up? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary, but life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. <sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me, it'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Made the best choice of all of us. Leave in NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Huh. So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Lock me to it. Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. 
doesn't matter anymore. Heard you back in town. I cannot deny I am pretty fucking impressed. The helmet exfiltration, Dogtown clusterfuck, who knows what else. Yet somehow you're still alive and kicking. Though not quite as audaciously as before, I hear. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tawa. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's, it's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's, it's good to know that you're, you're whole, you're, you're all right. But, um, well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And, and then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's, she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh, now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. A.V., I wouldn't mind knowing how you're managing. Langley awaits if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let Somi down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? A.V., it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. 
a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that?